Hey dancers, it's time for activity three, our donkey sock puppet. Go ahead and get out your bag that says donkey sock puppet on it and let's talk about the materials that we're gonna be using for this activity. We've got quite a few materials we're gonna need for today's activity. You have a couple different sheets of different colors and sizes of felt, a gray sock, which should be turned inside out, making it look a little bit fuzzy on the outside, a permanent marker, two big googly eyes, a little strip of a feather boa, a template for the different pieces we're gonna make, and some tacky glue. The only thing you'll need that is not already in your bag is a pair of scissors and possibly a pencil. Start by cutting out your template pieces. You'll see that these are patterns for making the different parts of the donkey sock puppet that we're gonna need to make today. Great, now that you've got all your pieces cut out for your templates, you'll see it tells you what each shape is and how many of them to make. Now, some of this makes a lot of sense, like the teeth we're just gonna make one set of, the tongue will only make one, the mouth we're gonna make two, one for the top and one for the bottom, two ears, two insides of the ears, two eyebrows, and two nostrils. So let's talk about which of these shapes is gonna go on which colored felt. This setup here shows you which shape is gonna go onto which color of felt. You'll see the ears are gonna be gray to match the color of the sock. The inside of the ear is actually gonna be your peachy color. I only have pink right now. You'll notice that the peach piece of felt is a little bit thicker and a little bit stiffer. We want that because it's gonna help the ears stand up straight and tall. So the inside of the ear goes on the peach. The mouth is gonna be on the light pink nostrils and eyebrows on black, teeth on white, and tongue on red. Go ahead and trace each of your templates onto the felt and then cut out all your pieces so we can assemble it. I'm gonna use a permanent marker. You can either use your permanent marker or you can use a pencil if you're worried about it bleeding through. Once you've got all your pieces cut out, there's a couple of pieces that are gonna need to go together before we're gonna put them onto our donkey sock puppet. So let's start with one of the mouth sections and the tongue. You might have a little piece of white paper on the back. If you do, that means that your red felt is adhesive. So you can just peel that off like a sticker and stick it right on. If you don't have that little piece of white paper, then you can just use your tacky glue put a little glob of glue on the tongue and stick it down to one of the mouth pieces. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the ears and the inside of the ears. Again, if you have that white piece of paper on the back, you can just peel and stick. If you don't, like me, we're gonna put a little glue on it and stick it onto the inside of the ear. Now we have all of our finished pieces and we're ready to start creating our sock puppet. To do this, first you need to stick your hand inside of your sock. This is gonna help us figure out exactly where to put the mouth and where to put the other pieces. Give it a little bit of slack and push your hand inside of that one with the sock on it to figure out where the mouth is gonna be. First, we'll take our blank pink piece, put some glue on it and put it onto the top. And then we'll take our piece with the tongue, put some glue on it and put it onto the bottom piece. Press it down nice and firm. You may wanna sit there and hold it down for a little while to allow the glue to dry before we move on to the next step. Once your mouth has dried, let's go ahead and flip our sock over to the other side to put together the other pieces. 
Now let's place these where we want to be. Remember that the toe of the sock is going to be the front of Donkey's mouth. So let's put his eyes in place. Big goofy googly eyes. And his nostrils just below that. And we've got his eyebrows. Then we have his ears. I'll just put those off onto the side. His teeth will come back to later. And then finally, his furry mane is gonna go down the center. We're just gonna glue all of these pieces into place and then they'll be all good to go. Remember, after you glue these pieces down, it's really important to give it lots of time to dry so that the pieces don't pop off. If you find pieces popping off, just add a little bit more glue and give it lots of time to dry. Looks awesome. You should have all your pieces glued down to your donkey now. Mine's still a little bit wet, so I'm gonna let it go. Remember to give it lots of time to dry. If anything pops off, just add some more glue to it and stick it right back down and you should be good to go. Hope you enjoy your donkey sock puppet.